This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. All right, investing in a green economy. Could it be green for your portfolio? Well, let's find out more. We have Mark Fulton. He is the Managing Director, Global Head of Climate Change Investment Research at Deutsche Bank. Mark Fulton, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Nice to see you again. Uh, Mark, what's the status right now? Is business really investing serious money behind clean technology, behind technology that mitigates climate change? Well, I think we're seeing, you know, the start of that process. It's been going on for a number of years. I think we've got to see a lot more. But we are seeing you know, quite, quite a lot of money deployed, both in terms of investors looking for opportunities and businesses themselves investing in the products and services that are then required. So, yeah, we're seeing a fair bit of activity all around the world. It varies by region. Um, and, and, you know, some people are very committed to it and some have still got to catch up. Is it is it serious commitment, though? Because sometimes you kind of think it's almost window dressing for a marketing point of view, although I have seen new initiatives that actually put on a package, you know, how much water is being being used, how much carbon is being used. If we come back in, let's say, 10 years, is that going to be just every, an everyday practice for companies to at least report their effects on the, on the climate? Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot more disclosure. And recently, the SEC has asked for, for more disclosure, so we're seeing more of that. But I, I think it's a question of, you know, people developing these products and services in a serious way because that's what's required if we're going to get on top of these clean technology issues. So, for instance, in the last couple of years, we've been talking about 100 150 billion dollars a year, which is really nowhere near the sort of money that needs deploying across all the clean tech sectors. We're really talking more like three to five hundred billion a year that's going to be need to be put. And some estimates make it much higher than that. So it hasn't we, really happened yet. We haven't hit any kind of critical mass in terms of the amount of money. No, I think we're at the early. You know, we're still at first stage. To so hit the critical mass, we've got to double up from here in the next few years for sure. We've got to see a lot more money spent by investors, a lot more uh, activity. From from corporations. But, you know, it's still there, you know, in some of our recent work, looking at what governments are doing, people are still moving ahead. Uh, the, the momentum is there, um, but it's still, you know, a long way to go. I'm glad you brought up governments, because I want to find out, is there some kind of ranking in your mind as to which governments around the world are really putting money behind this and who are going to be the leaders in this whole green technology and climate change mitigation technology? Yeah, indeed. We have a, you know, we have a, uh, a research product we produce called climate, Global Climate Tracker, and we look at, you know, the policies that are being put out, how many, which region, and we look, we try to look at the quality of those and look at which governments really seem to be committed to bringing this green economy to fruition. And we sort of do a risk rating, um, and we look at the countries where we think, in a sense, you've got less risk and more risk. And, you know, what we've found is that, again, you know, there are a number of countries, and particularly we tend to focus in the big countries on Germany and China that have made a lot of effort. And there are some countries like the United States which are making some effort, but just not as much, and they're not creating the basis for that sort of green economy, in our view. Well, let's talk about some of these economies. Start with China, for example. Yeah. Renewable energy, is that an initiative that the government is really putting serious money behind? Oh, absolutely. Not just the government. The government's enacting the policies, and the Chinese corporations are moving on it. And you've got a lot of... Uh, FDI, a lot of international investment now chasing the Chinese market. I mean, the Chinese market, domestic market, is now becoming the biggest market for clean technology in the world. Project finance, the deployment of wind, the deployment of solar. It's not just that they're manufacturing it, they're actually deploying it big time. So the Chinese have got an energy intensity target, which is what their overall idea is to try and control carbon. But after that, they've got a series of, uh, of policies, including feed-in tariffs, including, you know, those sort of directives that are really building those domestic industries and they're taking